Lesson 1.8, Counting Patterns Within 100. We can count by ones, fives, and tens with numbers less than 100. We have to think about the number we are counting by and say the numbers that are that many more. Counting by ones, each number is one more. We count one, two, three, four, five. Each number is one more than the number before it. Counting by fives, each number is five more. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Each number, as we move towards the right, is five more than the one before it. This is a 100 chart. It contains many patterns. Each number is one more than the number before it and one less than the number after it. If we choose the number five, four is one less, six is one more. There's many, many patterns on this 100 chart and there's a copy of this on my Facebook page in the photo section. And each number is 10 more than the number above it and 10 less than the number below it. 11 is 10 more than one and 11 is 10 less than 21. Look at the pattern here. We have one and all these numbers end with a one. Here we have a two and all these numbers end with a two. We have a three and all of these end with a three. Do you see the pattern? These all end with four. These all end with five. These all have six in the ones place, sevens in the one place. Do you see that? Here we have a 100 chart and it has missing numbers. We can fill in the missing numbers by looking for a pattern. We think we can use the numbers to its left, to its right, above it and below it. So here we have a missing number. Do you know what number is missing from this square? We have one, two, the missing number, then four, five, six. If you said three, you're right. Here's our next missing number. We can use the numbers to its left and to its right or we can look for a pattern for the number above it and below it. Do you know what the missing number is? If you said 16, you're right. Here we have another missing number. Do you know what number goes here? Look at the numbers to the left and to the right. We can look at the numbers above it and below it. See the pattern? This has no tens. There's one ten. How many tens would this one have? Then it goes three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens, and they all have a two in the ones place. So we know it's going to have a two in the ones place. What is going to be in its tens place? Well, look, 21, then our missing number, 23, 24, 25. It must be in the twenties. It must have a two in the tens place. Do you know the next missing number? 31, 32, 33. If you said 34, you're right. What about this missing number? We can see it should have a seven in the ones place. It's in the row for the 40s. It must be 47. What about this missing number? If you said 60, you're right. They all have a zero in the ones place and they are counting up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They're counting by tens. What about this number? Do you know what number goes here? If you said 65, you're right. What about this number? Do you know what the missing number is? If you said 78, you were correct. And this missing number, we can see it should have a one in the ones place. This row is all the 80s, except for that 90. 
it must be 81. We have one last missing number. Do you know what it is? It must have a 9 in the 1's place. We have all the 90's here. 96, 97, 98. If you said 99, you're right. So we can fill in the missing numbers by looking for a pattern. We can count on by different amounts. We can start counting with different numbers. We can count on by ones. Each number is one more. That's our pattern. We have one, two, three, four, five. What comes next? If you said six, you're correct. And what comes after six? What is one more? If you said seven, you're correct. And one more than seven is eight. And we can start counting with different numbers. Here we started with the number one. We can start at 38 and have each number as one more. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. One more than 42 is 43. And one more than 43 is, do you know what goes here? If you said 44, you're right. Do you see these three little dots? These three little dots mean and so on. So we could keep counting one more. We can count by fives. The pattern is each number is five more. We can look on a hundred chart and look at the pattern that it makes on the hundred chart. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We're skip counting by fives. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Do you know what comes next? If you said 30, you're correct. And what is five more than 30? If you said 35, you're right. And we can start counting by fives from any number. We can start at 45. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Do you see a pattern? It ends with a five, then it ends with a zero. It ends with a five, and it ends with a zero. It ends with a five. Well, this one must end with a zero. Look at the tens place. We have a four, then we have a five, then a five, then a six, then a six. And look at here. We have a one and a one and a two and a two in the tens place. Five, five, six, six. This must be a seven and a seven. And if this ends with a zero, this must end with a five. It must be 75. We can count by tens. Each number is 10 more. On our hundred chart, we can see the tens and see the pattern that it makes. We have a one and then a zero, then a two, zero, a three, zero, a four, zero, 10, 20, 30, 40. Do you know what goes there? It would be a five and a zero. It would be 50. So what number would go here? It would be a six and a zero. It would be 60. And we can start counting by tens from any number. Here we have 40, 50, 60, 70. Do you know what comes next? If you said 80, you're correct. You see the pattern. We have a four zero, then a five zero, six zero, seven zero, eight zero. What would go here? It would be a nine zero. It would be 90. Alicia counts to 20 by fives. How many numbers will she say? Five, 10, 15, 20. That's four numbers she counted. Su Jin counts to 60 by tens. How many numbers will she say? 
we can put a little dot for each one. We could even write the numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. We can count back by different amounts. We can start counting back with different numbers. So before we were counting on and our numbers were getting greater, now we can count back. If we count back by fives, each number is five less. We have 30 and five less is 25 and five less is 20 and five less is 15. Do you see the pattern? Our ones place is going zero, five, zero, five. There must be a zero in that ones place. What is five less than 15? If you said 10, you're correct. And this one will be five less. What's five less than 10? If you said five, you're right. And we can count back by tens. Each number is 10 less. We have a six zero, then a five zero, then a four zero, then a three zero. We're counting 60, 50, 40, 30. Do you know what comes next? If you said 20, you're right. And the next missing number would be 10 less than 20. If you said 10, you're correct. We can count on or count back by any amount. We can count on by twos. Each number is two more. This is count on. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Do you know what comes next? If you said 14, you're right. And what would be the next missing number? If you said 16, you're right. And we can count back by twos. Each number is two less. We're starting at 20, and two less would be 18, and two less would be 16, and two less would be 14, then 12. Do you know what number goes here? If you said 10, you're right. And what would be two less than 10? For this number, if you said eight, you got it. So we can count on or count back by any amount. We can count on by threes. Each number is three more. We have three, six, nine, 12, 15. And what is three more than 15? 15. 16, 17, 18. And what would be three more than 18? 18, 19, 20, 21. And we can count back by threes. We have 36, then 33, then 30, 27. Each number is three less. So what number would go here? If you said 24, you're correct. And what is three less than 24? We can count back 24, 23, 22, 21. Our next lesson is the last one for chapter one. We're going to be doing 1.9 counting patterns within 1000. This lesson was Counting patterns within 100, now we're going to do within 1,000. I hope you're doing well. I'm very proud of you, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.